Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to grab the inlinks and outlinks from Screaming Frog for our uh, specific URL. So you'll grab the specific URL from column A and then you're going to open Screaming Frog and assuming that you have already scanned, ran the crawl for the website, you're going to go to really any tab, but really what you're trying to do here, actually, so at first it's gonna show all the URLs. You're gonna paste that URL from column A. You're gonna paste it into this search menu here. And then from there, you're going to go to here at the bottom. You see there are different tabs down here. You're going to go to the end links tab. And then basically you want to grab everything that's in the from column. So there are gonna be some duplicates here. That's fine. I'm gonna grab those. And then you're gonna add those here in column C. Okay. Make that a little prettier. Let's top align it. Okay. And then from there, so we have our end links that are currently pointing to our URL in column A. Now we're going to look at the outlinks. So pretty much the same process, except you're going to use a different tab here. So you're going to go to the outlinks tab in Screaming Frog. And basically, you're going to copy and paste these. There's a lot. So really, you're only interested in the Ahrefs, Ahref links. So we can, um, let's see where we stopped. Uh, let's just start from the beginning. Let's grab all of the Ahref links. Copy, and then we're going to paste these into column G in our spreadsheet. Okay. So before we do that, uh, we actually might want to go here. I'm actually going to create a working sheet. So that we can do you know, simple cleanup. So let's just go here, copy and paste those, go to data, uh, remove duplicates, uh, no header row, column A. So it's still 55, okay. So just copy and paste these over and then from there, you can also filter this down a little bit more. So we know that um, the required outlinks, they all, if we just look at these, they all are going to have restoration in the URL somewhere. And this may not be the case for the URL that you're looking at, but you know, I always try to find ways to limit this list. So we can go back here and we can add another filter. And we're going to, let's see. I'll just do it this way. Uh, data, create filter. And as I was saying, we know that all of our URLs are gonna have restoration in them. So we can filter by, I believe it's condition, yeah. So text contains restoration. Okay. And when you're doing this, just add an extra row so that this doesn't get included. So let's do that again, just to make sure it's clean. So, Add a row. 
And then you're going to remove the filter here. Turn off filter. Then you want to filter this row. And then filter by condition again, text contains restoration. So these are the final links and uh, we can copy and paste these directly into column G here. So our new list is a lot cleaner than what we originally had here and definitely doesn't take up as much space. So just expand the uh, column so that everything fits neatly. Okay, and so that's how we grab the in links and out links from a Screaming Frog. So again, uh, pretty much the same process. We're just gonna be looking at different tabs within Screaming Frog. Uh, you can actually run the same cleanup we did for the in links column. So let's go ahead and do that just to keep things consistent. That's that. Let's grab them here again. So again, only interested in Ahref. So we're going to grab everything from the from column. Add them here. And I'll actually go from Ahrefs, or I'm sorry, Screaming Frog to uh, this working sheet. So you can do some cleanup. So first, remove duplicates. And then from there, you know, as we saw with the out links, all of our inbound links or in links are going to have restoration somewhere in the URL. So we can, I think that filter all was already there. So this is going to be our clean list now. And then moving back over to our main tab, we can delete these and then go here. That's pretty much it. So that's this video. In summary, we grabbed the in links and out links from Screaming Frog, and then we cleaned them up, uh, cleaned up those lists, removed the duplicates, and then uh, filtered out only those URLs that would be relevant. So that last part, that's going to vary depending on the URL that you're looking at and what's here in column B. But what I suggest is find and actually applies for column B and column F, but find some pattern for these URLs, so a common key uh, word or phrase that they use, and that will help you shorten this list so that your analysis for the next step will be much easier.